Hey, what's going on with it, bros? I'm in Bronze Apex. This is the one, the only, Nintendo Free 2011, AK. Criticism Guy 2009. Before to begin, real quick, I just finished doing my um, unpackaging unboxing video for like um, my Pokemon Plasma Free shit and um, the other one, Supreme Rivals Pl Platinum, which I can't find it right now, but it is what it is in there. So, yeah. Without further ado, real quick, let's begin. So, trailer review, and it's funny, I just finished um, not doing the video. My movie review for the Warframe might do that tomorrow. We'll see what happens. But um, this movie actually stars, um, once again, Hugh Jackman and two other legends in the uh, Hollywood industry, which is um, Jake Gyllenhaal and uh, Terrence Howard. Pretty huge as fuck. Heavy ass hitters. Even though Terrence Howard did that movie earlier, which was, wasn't really that good. It was supposed to be in comedy, but this is more like drama, drama action, kind of like a murder scene, CSI style thing. So basically, this one's called The Prisoner. So let's begin. So basically, it stars the three heavy hitters. And then this one black girl, I think I heard her name before in like... I think it was um, Precious or something. Her name was Viola Davis, and that's supposed to be her. So yeah, basically it's about them, um, these like three families that no, these two families that get together or whatever. And um, one one day they, it was on Thanksgiving. One day they decided to let their two youngest daughters like go out and play in a, out in the woods somewhere, which already screams fucking horror and terror and rape and shit like crazy. I mean, who would who in the right mind would send their kid out to the fucking woods? And, uh, yeah, out of nowhere, what's it called, um, <clears throat> they end up getting kidnapped from this, like, RV van thing or whatever, and then, um, and then they're looking for the kids all over the place, and this movie's called Prisoners, by the way, I think it's coming out probably winter, if it doesn't come out this fall, and there's Jake Gyllenhaal, he plays this, <laughs> you're gonna laugh at the name that they gave him, I think his name's Loki Slaves or something like that, just like in the Avengers, so yeah, there's that, and, uh, what's it called, um, after that, what happens is they go on a freaking, like, not, not really a crime wave. They go on like a little bit of a search hunt like for like their two missing daughters and it's sad because this shit actually happens in real life all the time, you know, but this is in a movie though. So yeah, obviously you know, their parents are worried a shit out of their mind. They're worried sick like crazy. They're not sure if their da daughters are still alive or dead. And uh, he's trying to cooperate with the federal organization and shit like that and the officers and the FBI guys, CIA, DA, all those little crazy ass guys. And uh, he wants Angels, he wants him now. And this guy, Loki Slave, which is played by Jake Gyllenhaal. And the last movie I saw him was that, um, one movie he did last year. It's called, it wasn't Training Day either, it was called, I can't believe I forgot the name of that one, but it was really fucking good as shit. It goes like, um, out of watch or out of time. I don't know. But other than that, you know, it's pretty fucking badass, you know. I haven't seen the movie myself, but I really want to plan on seeing this, because, you know, you got fucking Terrence fucking Howard in there, you know. He did Doug Man down, I didn't get to see that one. And then he did one with Jake Jim in the hall in there too. So basically, um, then that kid he's supposed to be the one that they think he was like the rapist pedophile that killed the kids and everything, and uh, Jake Gyllenhaal's trying to get this case together, he's trying to find the two kids. And he says he's on a forty eight hour like um parole or something like that. Or house arrest. Because they think he might have had something to do like involved with the whole murder scene investigation, you know, child missing case. And after that, um, they find him in one like the um, <clears throat> outside in the woods with the RV, and they put him up. He says, "Put your hands in here right now." And then he goes out to the media friends. He's like, "Oh, what you do to my daughter, you son of a bitch!" And then um, after that, like um, he talks to Jay Gyllenhaal, which Hugh Jack when he plays his character. He's like, "Oh, I want my daughters right now. You're not the one that's worrying about them. Every night they're wondering where's their father, and I'm not there to answer." And he's just going on a shitstorm rant. Tremendous performance acting right there to the fucking fullest. I don't know what that one's supposed to be. I think that was supposed to be one of the voices. I don't know. But other than that, um, what's it called? At the end, he ends up tying him up in a bathroom, and then Terrence Howard asks Hugh Jackman, oh, what the hell are you doing, man? Are you serious? And oh, I need to know where my daughter is. Like, I'm desperate. I need her. It needs her father. And it's just tremendous performance, professional acting. He hella needs a freaking Oscar award for that shit this year. I can guarantee you that. I don't know what else. What else can I say about the movie? You know? The other actors are pretty good, besides, um, Lyle Davis, she's decent, I guess. But the other three are really fucking badass, which is Terrence Howard and Jake Gyllenhaal. They just killed the performance, in a good way. It's looking pretty damn good. I might go see it, we'll see. And the last two things I want to say about it is there's a lot of, like, gun uses and violence and everything. It's probably not the movie to send your kids out to see, even though they have kids in it, but still. And after that, what happens is, is that, um, what's it called? <clears throat> He, they show him riding off of the road and bridges. There's a lot of gun violence used and shit. It's huge as fuck, but it looks awesome. And then Jake Gyllenhaal does a lot of smashing on the walls and, you know, kicking asses, you know, kicking ass, taking names type of shit. And yeah, that's basically it. It's called Prisoner. 
So yeah, hopefully you like this trailer review and like I always say, like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And uh, peace out, bros and brothers, podcast subscribe. We'll see you when I see you guys. Have a good day. Have a good night. We're out around the world. Um, don't do, yeah, don't drink or smoke weed at the same time. Don't do anything reckless. And I will talk to you guys soon. All right. Be easy. Stay safe. And I'll talk to you next time. And one, two more other things. Like, exactly. Number one, um, I'm still gonna be doing those anime reviews. Just give me a little bit more time, and I promise I'll get to you guys on that. There's that, and um, what else? Some more comic book dub reviews. I might do some of those. And uh, yeah, you guys be easy, and I'll talk to you next time. All right? Don't be crazy out there, and uh, stay tuned for next more stuff next time. <laughs> all right, bye.